Hi there, welcome to How to D&D. My name's Fred Wheeler, and I'm going to review the new Trent miniature by WizKids. The Trent miniature was created for the Dungeons & Dragons roleplay game. It is part of the Icon of the Realm Monster Menagerie series. Uh, it can be purchased on Amazon online for 49 American dollars. Or, if you're in New Zealand, you can purchase it from a game store for about $79. I'll unbox the miniature so I can show you uh, all the details. Let's get that open. Pull it out. There's the package. So there is the miniature. Looks very impressive. And, if you believe it, they've given us a rock. I'm assuming that this... Uh, Trent can actually hold that somewhere, like uh, where though, in his hand, without breaking it. Uh, oh, okay, all right. Well, he's holding it there now. Okay, I, I, he might fit it into one of the other hands. I'm not too sure. The first thing you'll notice, it's actually got four arms. There's one here, two, three, four. It's a highly detailed sculpture. I'll move it round so you can see. There's a lot of detail. There's the back of it. And um, I didn't see it before, but you can see there's actually moss on his back. There you go. You can see the texture of the bark on him. Um, there's, there's actually moss on his feet. And these little things here, they look like little toadstools or mushrooms that are growing on his feet. Um, and they sort, of, uh, they sort of go all around the legs. And like I said, there's the, the moss just here, which looks very cool. And actually, it actually spent a bit of time making sure that looks pretty realistic. He's got a long beard. Look, a beard and a moustache. Uh, okay, so this sculpt here is pretty basic but um, it's still cool. I would imagine uh, the creators have probably copied this particular mold and structure from Lord of the Rings and uh, Treebeard. Well, that's what it looks like to me anyway. It has a very wide base. If you haven't noticed this is a much wider base than the old Trent miniature that I had. So I think that looks like a 4x4. Four four. I have a, just a few concerns with the base. You can see here, I don't know if you can see exactly, but it's fixed at a number of different uh, narrow points. So I'd say I'd have some concerns that the, it might not actually stay on the base, that uh, it could come free from those contact points because it's only been glued in place. The paint job is what you would expect from a pre-painted miniature. There's nothing particularly special about it. In fact, probably the best paint job is actually the moss. It's slightly flexible. They've gone back to using that flexi plastic, which we uh, all either loved or hated. But the fact is, it makes, it makes a miniature much more durable and stronger. It's not quite as flexible as the old plastic that they were using, um, but certainly I think this will make it easier for this miniature to survive any kind of rough and tumble in a box. It does have a, a few small limbs sticking out of it that could potentially break off them, I and the fingers are quite small and delicate, so they, they would, that have potential to sort of break off. This one actually looks like it might have actually broken off already, or that's just part of the mold. That might be just part of the mold. So let's compare this to the old Trent miniature. So here it is. Bring it over. Put it beside so you can see the difference. So the new Trent miniature and the old Trent miniature. So it's a little bit taller than the older miniature. I would say it's probably less robust. This particular miniature here, the old Trent is much more robust. It's, I, I haven't had any troubles with this. It's, it's very flexible and uh, it's quite hardy and strong. It doesn't have any little delicate bits sticking off it. What I do like about the new miniature is its character and it does have 
a significant amount of character to it. Something that I wouldn't say that the old Trent did. I mean, the old Trent just looked like it was angry and evil. Um, this miniature looks like it could go either way. Um, more like a, a grumpy old man. I'm really pleased with this miniature. It's one of the my all-time favourites now, I have to say, uh, now that I've had a good look at it. And I highly recommend the new Trent miniature. So that's everything from me. If you found this video helpful or informative, please share, like and subscribe. Make a comment below uh, if you have any questions about the new Trent miniature. And I will try to answer your questions. If you've already purchased the miniature, make a comment. Tell me what you thought of the miniature. And until next time, keep rolling those 20s.